Good morning from Upstate Tractor Works. Here we are today in Greer, South Carolina at another farm equipment auction. It's a nice sunny day, a balmy 26 degrees right now. Hopefully it'll get up to about 40 today. Uh, I want you to come along with me. We're going to show you some walk around and then some auction action. Please like, share, subscribe, do what you got to do, help our, our channel grow. Thank you. Alrighty, we're gonna walk around and show you some things this morning at the auction. Got some cattle gates. Got a zero turn. I think this is some of the late afternoon stuff. Sun's kind of low, so it's right at us there. Got a fuel tank. There's an LS loader bracket if somebody wants some. LS has a LS bunch of these Chinese skid steer parts over here yeah got the tractors over there got a truck They're looking good I'm gonna find me a way over here in a second got some feed troughs trailer full of generators got a bunch of these uh, 20 by 20 frames last auction i went to they no, no sold them all couldn't get a bid over about four or five hundred dollars they like to get like two grand for them things so we'll see how those go today i need to build a barn so i wouldn't mind getting into it okay over here we got a john deere see how muddy it is here what a mess. Alright. Got a John Deere right here. What number? 565 Echo. Nice looking tractor. Got some weights for a John Deere. International tractor. Here's a Massey Ferguson 1105. That's a big boy. Little John Deere 850. Alright. Little Kubota. B3350. Nice Ferguson 471. Got some good looking tractors here. Now I think somewhere around here. Yeah, here's the whole line of in ops. Got a ton of in ops here today. Inoperable piece tractors. They'll probably be pieced it out. I'm talking about a piece. There's a little piece of one there. Yep. Got some Alice Chalmers. Some Masseys. Got some Farmalls. Got some John Deers. Check out this little tractor with orchard fenders. I have no idea who made that. Looks like a little flathead four cylinder. A Silver King. Whoever made Silver King? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. Boy, oh boy, some of these tractors have been sitting in the woods somewhere for a while. Yeah, I can't, I, I can't use Zoom with that thing. Zoom? Yeah. Is that that balloon right there? Do the trifecta of the yeah. Air Force nuclear station. Yeah, it looks like the Chinese balloon has made it here to spy on the auction today. You don't see uh, uh, them auctioning off all this old equipment. We got a manure spreader here. Big old tires. A new idea. Uh, got a smaller new idea spreader here. They put built them some sides here on this to help so they could carry more. More 
Dookie. Here we go. Here's an A.O. John Deere. It's been sitting somewhere for many years. The Farm All Cub line. Not bad looking cubs. That ice is starting to give away to nothing but mud underneath our feet. Alright, here's us a grain skid. No no tires on it, but it, a grain wagon, but it's on skids. There's some grain wagons over there. A bush hog here. Bush hog brand. A John Deere hay baler. Some dog fences. Got some dog fences. There's a spreader truck. If you need a spreader truck with a rusted out muffler there. Uh, Fifty Dooley state bed truck, cattle fences, big trailers down here. Huh? Here's the loader off of an international. Includes the frame mount brackets. It looks like. <clears throat> Got Delta trailers here selling new trailers. Whew. Come down here and get a easier crossing. You can feel the mud thaw. Got a Clemson Tiger livestock trailer. I see something over here I saw on their online advertising is a rolling chicken house that you move. The small time chicken farmer, if you only got a few, is sitting on this trailer here. And there's a frontier six foot bush hog. Been rode pretty hard, painted black on the back where it rusted. Oh man, here we go. Here's a Canadian made Wallenstein shred chipper shredder. That's not bad. Three point hitch. Sold originally out of Pickens. A big gooseneck car halter. It hauls probably three cars. Here's your Dutchman camper that I saw. It's the only camper in this auction. And to those of us that don't have capability of fifth wheels or goosenecks, there's really no reason to look at it. 24 long. Probably make somebody a decent. It's interesting. Came out of Huntington, West Virginia. All right, here's your little boat. It looks like it's seen better days, but it's kind of cute. I don't think it's been used in a while. All right, Got some balers. Here we got some small equipment here. Got a scrape blade there, six foot, looks like. Some plows. 
there's these gates. They sell these gates at everyone. They usually run $1,800 or so. I've seen people post them right after the sale for $2,500 on Marketplace. Good luck to them. Hopefully they sold them. Now this is where you back up and pick up your hay bales, it looks like, running square bales. Yeah. Some big old blue hogs here. We're going to start making our way back toward the auction because I think they're getting ready to get started. I hear them doing the prim preliminary announcements. Looks like the first items are their yard art stuff that they do each time. Nothing wrong with it. It's just that I don't have any interest in it. Uh, got some brand new scrape blades. <clears throat> got some axles out of something. 17 and a half tires so it's something that holds heavy stuff <clears throat> see if the mule starts okay that was on a truck bed somebody run over it. got some tires here Are we in the cow pasture or the pig pen? Yeah. Both, eh? <laughs> I'm glad I, I wore my boots. Yeah, I was looking at pictures of this auction last night and saw all the mud out in the lanes. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna pack my boots. Yep. Yeah, and as, as the ground saw, thawing, it's gonna get worse. Uh. There's a lift there. Here's some sickle mowers. I guess they just don't like to have belt guards. They took that one off. It's a four foot sickle mower. That one's got a broke end on it. Yeah, arm wagon. some wore out equipment here nice and new this enclosed trailer looks pretty nice i think the bid on it right now is like thirty seven hundred dollars but i can guarantee you that won't last enclosed trailers right now this is a 24 foot homesteader and that trailer is going to go north of okay here we go again we're going to try to get across another mud hole here to try to get to that aisle over there to look at those items. I think I'm gonna go across the flat down there. Yep, muddy mess. Take the inland route here. This looks a little drier. A little bit, a little bit. All right. Now, looks like we got a dry crossing. So, got the generator out here running. Got a, Allen Holmes has got a dump truck that they can't get fired off. A bunch of step plates here. Everybody needs them. Aerators. Ah. Ah. Nose trying to run on this chilly morning. Got a, several trailers here. Some of them even advertised with, with title. So that's a good thing. Hard in the noise as we walk by this generator. They're heating up the block on that truck to try to get it started. Got some more skid steer stuff there. Got a trencher and a post hole digger. Duck under here. 
Here's another trailer. You gotta be real careful about these auction trailers though. A lot of them will be warped because they'll overload them. Nothing like overloading a trailer, especially when they have 3,500 pound axles. You put any kind of tractor just about on it and you can easily bend them. Here's a 38 horsepower Kubota. It's got the interchangeable bucket with the skid steer mount. And here's a dump trailer. I have been wanting a dump trailer, but with my tractor, I need the dump trailer with two foot sides and not four foot sides. I wouldn't be able to dump over in there. Here's a set of mead forks. Looks just like the ones that was in the auction last week. I can guarantee you them's way too heavy for my little tractor. That agri metal, that was the same one. That's interesting. Then we got some telephone poles. Now, nothing uniform in size. Cracked at the ends. I don't know if I'd load them for them. Cause you know, if you're gonna build a barn, that green one right there is about the only one that's long enough, but it's all split up. Uh, all right, somebody was building them a dump trailer, it looks like. Yeah, that's what they were doing. They were going to build them a dump trailer. Cylinders in there. But... I don't want to finish it. So, here's some more of those gates getting into your property, trying to sell them a bunch of deer. That one's got big deer, this one's got little deer. Several of these items I'm seeing here from the auction I went to last week. It's like they moved them from Greenville Pickens over here. It's a nice John Deere 4020. I think that's the tractor. The bid's already at 14,000. And this one's a 1520. There's more sets of those rafters barn kits if i can ever get a deal on a set of those i'm gonna buy a set but i'm not gonna be paying two thousand dollars for them so what you get is you get two side walls and you get the top and it looks like the side walls I'm five ten, so that's six foot. So it's seven foot high on the side, and probably eight foot high in the center. So I don't know what you'd fit under it. Small tractors. And there's a Kubota. Yep. Alrighty, it looks like we've taken a pretty good walk around, so I'm gonna make some auction action videos here shortly and we'll go from there. Six thousand dollars probably. You could buy these things three years ago for for about five grand brand new. Looks like they've took care of it. They hadn't really pulled it a whole lot. I don't think my little two-wheel drive forward would handle this mud to get out of here with it. All right, we're gonna find a... Go back here and find a crossing. I hope this is entertaining for you. Oh, man. 
I mean, it is deep. Out here in the middle is where they've been running back and forth and stuff. I'm all just trying to find tire tracks to walk in. Here's me a couple. Oh, man. There's a little John Deere lawnmower. They hit and miss motor here. That's a lot, though. John Deere 110. Drug out from somewhere. Look at the tire. There's the back part of some track there. I hear the auction going on up here. We're going to walk on up here. I got tillers, Mass Ferguson and tractors. My daddy's right behind him. <laughs> See that? <laughs> little Kubota 2360. Adam said he was probably going to come up today. Fixed bucket on the front, so you wouldn't have the easy change of a bucket. Got a blower on the back here. There's the air conditioned outhouse today. I bet you'd have seen in that sucker's cold now. All righty. So, well, I thought what I was looking for was pretty early, but it looks like they're starting into that aisle. There's some trucks and dump trucks down there. I'm going to take a break and we'll go down and look at those in a minute. Alrighty, we're gonna show you a few more tractors. Here's a John Deere 6130D. It's here on the auction day. Nice four-wheel drive tractor. And all. I'm getting ready to leave the auction, so uh, it's kind of going slow this morning. And all, they're having some difficulties with their speaker and such. Here's an old 4240. Got a bunch of suitcase weights on it. Yeah good size tires here's another John Deere this one's got a bucket and a hay spear with it looks like now here we go one with a full warranty on a Dutes far nice looking tractor there warranty until 9 16 23 it's a power train they still got plastic on the seat and that thing I don't believe it's been used at all. Now you probably have a hard time hearing me in a minute because some of these guys are running the tractors. Uh oh, that one didn't sound good. There's a 850. He's running it on down. Here's your Kubota 3350. New Holland. Here's your John Deere. Fifty sixty five Echo. Yeah. Got a ramp, loading ramp here. All righty. So I'm gonna get out of here. I appreciate you watching. Like, share, subscribe. Please subscribe to our channel. We're going to grow. And you have a great day.